folks, welcome to Green Lorraine's Kitchen. This is the meal kit of the week, mushroom burgers. We have portobello mushrooms, one large cap, cremini mushrooms, white mushrooms, and shiitake mushrooms. We've got garlic, a shallot, and uh, what he said to do is just spice it. So I picked a variety of spices, which uh, we're using some rosemary, some sage, thyme, and uh, oregano. Oregano, thank you, cameraman, awesome. And then we've got panko crumbs, which I always use the plain panko crumbs because I like to spice my own stuff. I know what I like, and so I tend to just buy the plain and spice it up the way I want. All right, so what we're gonna do now is start mixing. See how it goes. Uh, we have garlic here, which is, uh, I'd say, four or five cloves. One shallot. And then a variety of herbs. I will give the exact, I actually did um, kind of keep track of what I use for the spices. And we'll see how that pans out. And he said a couple eggs. And then he also said to not use too many breadcrumbs because you don't want it to be really bready. You really want to taste the mushrooms in it. Okay, so look at that. All right. So I'm just going to kind of get, mix all these ingredients together. All right, so what we're going to do here is I am going to patty these up and we're going to come back and grill them. Okay, so I was getting a little concerned because um, it didn't seem like it was going to be binding, but what I did is I really just got in there and um, just squeezed everything all together and incorporated everything, and they're totally holding together very firmly. All right, we're back, and we're going to cook these beautiful mushroom burgers that are staying together so well. I'm gonna do a little bit of butter, Strauss, and we've got some olive oil, and we have a little butter. Gosh, they smell so good, don't they, cameraman? Yeah, they do. Oh, the aromas. So we're going to put lids on here and let them develop their flavor and so. We're ready. It's been about five minutes, maybe. I'm going to take off the lids and I'm going to flip these mushroom burgers over. Well, that needs a pot holder. It's a little hot. <laughs> okay, so, so you can see they're breaking. The, there's a little bit of uh, breaking apart here. I think there's enough oil in the pan. I am going to just go ahead and flip them. Oh my god. <gasps> Look at that. Put these guys. Let's put the lid back on. Let's continue to cook. Pot holder. You need a pot holder. Okay, so here we have our finished product. Um, I added a little bit of uh, our Italian blend cheese to a couple of them because certainly a mushroom burger is has just the you know as much right to having cheese on it as a meat burger does. Okay, right. so mushroom burger. Ooh, it's pretty. Hot. Oh my god. It's delicious. Thank you, Mike, so much for sharing your recipe. It is amazing. I bet the cheese ones are really good too. You can have these on a bun or have them plain. Personally, what I would do is I would put some uh, sunflower, like some fresh sprouts on there or something would be really delicious. But it really doesn't need much because it's fantastic, just like it is. Oh. 